Uh, this is take two, actually. Uh, my first take uh, was kind of depressing, so I thought, no, <laughs> why why should I post something depressing? So I'm, I'm trying to redo this again. Um, yeah, last week was nothing stellar. Uh, actually, I pretty much either gained a little bit or stayed where I was with all my measurements. As I mentioned in my prior blog, I kind of had a couple really rough days last week. Um, but overall, I'm still feeling motivated. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to believe this is going to be the last video we do for this challenge. Um, but doesn't mean it's the last video. I still have a video I want to do for you guys. But um, unfortunately, this last week was pretty hectic. Wasn't able to get it done. Uh, last night, I did my first ever uh, wedding as a photographer. Uh, I've done plenty of portrait shoots, landscapes, you know, all kinds of other stuff. But last night uh, was a new experience for me. Uh, I'm glad I had such a laid-back couple and a laid-back wedding because otherwise I think I probably would have given up photography. It was uh, a different experience, um, something that I wasn't used to, uh, but I've learned a lesson, moved forward from it. Uh, the one thing I did get from last night was uh, extremely sore legs um, because I'm constantly up, down, up, down. I felt like I did 100 squats last night. Uh, my legs are so sore this morning, but it's a good kind of sore. Um, gives me something I need to work towards uh, now in my workouts to build up some strength so I can uh, do that without feeling so sore the next day. Um, as for, uh, let's see here, I kind of already crossed my measurements. Yeah, those are going to be right here. Uh, again, like I said, nothing stellar. My diet wasn't that great last week. Uh, like I mentioned in my blog post, uh, I have a really bad case, and it's something i got to work on of, of stress eating. And so when I get all stressed out, I just throw caution to the wind and kind of eat what I want. Uh, that's been my trouble in the past, part of the reason why I gained so much weight in the first place. Um, <clears throat> but you know what though, overall, I'm really excited because over the last 90 days, I have seen the transformation of my body. I've lost more weight over the last 90 days than I have in the last two years combined. I've lost nearly 40 pounds in the last, uh, three months and I had up till then only lost probably about uh, 20 pounds. So I've lost twice as much weight as I have in the last two years just in the last 90 days. So if I can continue the forward momentum even if I don't uh, push myself super hard I can still continue that two pounds, a day, two pounds a week which was my goal originally to lose. If I can continue to lose two pounds a week um, by my daughter's second birthday, I can be to where I wanted to be by her third birthday. Uh, so I just want to keep my forward momentum. I have learned a lot from this challenge. I have learned about my macros. I have learned about you know keeping my carbs at a certain point compared to my proteins and my fats. You know things that I never paid attention to before. And as long as I continue to pay attention to those, I see nothing but. Um, skinny jeans in my future. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not, I would not put people through watching me wear skinny jeans. Uh, but needless to say, uh, I want to throw a big shout out to everyone in the group. Um, Rick, Patrick, Leslie, um, Sally, Guillermo, Jason, it's been a pleasure, guys. Um, growing with you guys, learning, and I mean growing as in a good way, not as in um, waistline. Uh, Jason, Guillermo, you guys look amazing. Uh, I only hope that one day I'll be to where you guys are, and hopefully that will be within the next year and a half. I know that's putting a lot of pressure on myself, but... I think I can do it. You saw what I could do when I really put my mind to it. 
and I'm going to challenge myself. Uh, I bought my calipers last week, measured my fat. My fat percentage is somewhere around 26-27%. Uh, still trying to figure out how to use the thing properly, but uh, based on what I did do and the calipers, it's supposedly somewhere around 26-27%. So, it gives me something else to keep an eye on, uh, and I'm going to keep moving forward. Uh, I was really excited, you know, like I've said before, I'm seeing my neck for the first time in years. Even whenever I, you know, uh, was, you know, in the 240 to 260 range, I still look at pictures of myself and I didn't have as good of a neck as I have now. Which, I know, it's it's not nothing to be super proud of, but when you've grown up all your life with a double chin, uh, being able to see your neck and that double chins going away, um, yeah, it's just something that I'm proud of. Uh, otherwise, I don't really have a lot more. So, you know, till next time, you guys, keep your heads up, your eyes on the prize. This is not a race that is just for 90 days. This is a race for our life, literally. And, you know, those who want to push hard, those who want to take their time it's not about who's fast or who's slow it's the fact that we all get to the same goal we all get to the same uh, health that we want to attain and some people it takes longer than others and you know uh, for me I know it's gonna take me a little bit more time I still got about another hundred pounds left that I want to lose uh, but I'm pretty sure that with a little determination uh, a little less stress eating, I will do better on that, um, that I can get there. This is f not just for me, this is f for my family. So, heads up, eyes on the prize. Till the next time I post a video, you guys, this is Matt signing out. <laughs>